Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys a brand new gameplay series. Yes folks, we are playing City Skylines. This is something that I've wanted to bring to the channel for a while now, and I've been getting a lot of requests recently, so I feel like this is probably one of the best times to go ahead and bring it on. Now, the way we're going to do this, we're going to do kind of like a Let's Play series. I'm not going to do time lapses or anything. I'm going to be really feeding off of you guys, uh, asking you questions about what you want to see and kind of how we want to shape this whole area, really. So, we're going to do that. Now, I do understand this is a little bit of an older game, but there's still content coming out for it, and there's an expansion coming out actually in a month or two. It's like some sort of disasters expansion, so I really look forward to jumping in and playing that. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, we've got a nice, like, almost like a roundabout here. And, by the way, this is a downloaded map. I, I'll put it in the description. I'm not really sure what it's called. But, yeah, it starts off here. You've got a roundabout. So, what I'm going to do here, we're going to segment everything. Uh, we got to keep everything fairly far apart from each other because you don't want to mix your industrial, commercial, and residential, obviously. So, what we're going to do here, we're actually going to go ahead and start. Now, I do have the time paused here. It's just a lot of the times when I like to start these, I don't like the time running. I like to get settled in, maybe get a section or two done and get the electricity, water, and all that running. So let's go ahead. I'm going to try to be as even as possible with this roundabout. I want to be right here. That's probably, that's probably right in the center. So we're going to make this go off this way. And we're going to build a neighborhood over here. Now... I typically, to begin the game, just to make everything really nice and efficient, I do a lot of grid patterns for my neighborhood, so you're going to notice a lot of just straight roads, and that's just something I typically do. Now, one thing I am worried about with this roundabout, while it is a one-way, and everything's going to kind of circle in and flow out, I'm just concerned about the traffic coming off this highway. This is absolutely busy right here, so I'm really curious as to how this is going to work. So, what I'm thinking, after we get this all planned out, we might have to change this up just a bit. I more like the setup on the other side with just the two highways coming off because I do a one-way kind of hook. So, we might change that or we might just keep the roundabout. I know it looks really nice, but I just want to go for what's efficient. Now, as for the other side, what we're going to do over here, this is going to be the industrial side. So, we're going to have... See if I can get that straight. I believe that is good. I believe that's almost even about how we did it on the other side. It might be one longer, so let's... Yeah, that looks good there. So it's going to be basically the same on this side. And what we're going to do over here, this is going to be our power and our water, which we've got to probably separate the water quite a bit. We'll put it further down. And also, I've got to worry about, hmm, the poo water. What are we going to do with that? It seems like the smartest place to put it's going to be over here. Let's see where this river's flowing. Okay, so it's going, the downstream's that way, so that's obviously going to have to be about right here. And I think we can separate our water tower. You know, we've got to keep it out of the uh, pollution area, so I think we're actually going to stick it over here. This seems like a nice area to have a water tower, so we're going to stick that there. So we've got those two taken care of. Now, electricity... At first, let's go ahead and just run off turbines. Uh, let's see, we're going to stick one there. I would spend the money, and we do kind of have the money to do a coal power plant. But I'm going to hold off for just a bit, because I want to get everything else running first. So, let's go ahead and extend electricity there. And I believe I'm going to run it up the side here. So, we're going to keep it really close to the boundary. And I need to find a nice place where we can cross where all these lines are going to work. Actually, they're not going to. So let's go ahead and place these here. We'll do one right on the other side, and then we can extend this over into the neighborhood. So we've got that. That should work. Okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and hook up our pipes. And then we're about to start time up. So we're going to run these. A lot of people like to run these right down the roads, and I don't understand why they do it. Uh, to be honest with you, it's not very smart, and that wasn't very smart what I just did there. Let's go ahead and erase one of those. Uh, they run it up and down the roads because it looks nice. Well, the problem being is how wide the, of an area the water is actually flowing. It's very unnecessary, and it's not cost-effective at all. So uh, I'm going to do it probably, and I'm not going to even go even further, so I'm going to do it probably like about like this. And what is occupied here? Is it not liking... I guess it wasn't liking uh, being that close to the little pump station there, or the 
the poo station, so there we go. Alright, so we've got this pretty well covered. I guess we need to hook into the water tower real quick. So we're ready to go ahead and place some residential areas. So we're going to go, actually I like to do the dragging here, so we're going to drag this whole area here. And let's go ahead and start time up. There we go. Oh, they're instantly building here. But yeah, I want to keep this all nice and uniform right here. We can start going a little crazy with like curvy roads and really decorating once we get everything established. And really, are you not getting power being that close? That is amazing. Hmm, we're going to have to do one little stray power pole like right there. Now, can I set one here in the middle? Would that work? I don't think that's going to hook on. So yeah, we've got to do one. As silly as it looks, we have to do one right there. I really thought it was going to catch on, but apparently not. So that should get power in theory. Yes, there it goes. So we've got that going. Let's go ahead and start our little industrial area. People need jobs right now. Now, in the bigger picture, we're going to want to focus on education. That way we can start up a really big city, start getting the uh, big skyscrapers in, and uh, just basically make everybody happy, make the city happy. I don't like these very pollution-filled cities. I understand it's a little necessary at first to get everything moving, but eventually it just it just gets really distracting. Uh, all the pollution in the air, the whole ground turns brown, and it just it looks terrible. So uh, we're going to eventually go green. Now, I will have to install a coal power plant fairly soon. Uh, we'll see how much the uh, industrial area sucks up as far as electricity. I mean, I'd like to go green, but... Uh, this early in the game, it might be pretty impossible, so let's go ahead and highlight another area here. We're going to keep a nice little residential area right here. Now, we need to worry about commercial, and hmm, where do we want to do commercial? It kind of sucks not having that. I've got a little four-lane road that I could put up here. I'd like to have like an avenue, a nice one with trees, but we have to reach a fairly decent-sized population, so we're going to have to do, hmm... Gotta make sure this is even. I've got some really bad OCD, and I think right about there should be... Ah, uh, it's almost dead center. Let's, let's see what this looks like real quick. Is that is that dead center? Uh, you know what? We're gonna go with that, because I don't think the circle is quite perfect, so... Let's uh, run up and down here now. Hmm. How do we want to break these off? Uh, we've got this main road. We're probably going to break off. Um, should I keep them? I'm trying to think of traffic. I don't think traffic's actually going to be too big of an issue right now. So uh, we're going to do more of like this, uh, probably this grid pattern style. And I would like to have something kind of in the center. Uh, once we finish this area, say beyond this road here, it'd be nice to have like a big park or something. Almost like a city center. And I might leave these two areas open. I like to keep the houses fairly close together, but the commercial, sometimes I like to spread it out, especially if I don't picture it being dense in the uh, future, so, I don't know, let's try this on for size, and we'll see what happens here. Do we have water out this way? Nope, we're going to need to go ahead, and we're going to extend out, probably about right there should be fine. And we'll run it. We're going to run it all the way down just to kind of future-proof ourselves. So we've got that. And I'm going to need one more. So let's keep it right along the uh, river here. And that's pretty good. I might have wasted a little bit there, but it's not too bad, I think. So we've got that. We need to worry about electricity. Hmm. How do I, where do I want to run this where it doesn't look terrible? Uh, you know what? Let's just start from here. We're going to run it around the industrial area. Because eventually I've got plans uh, closer to the power, or we'll call it our power area right now. So let's go ahead. I'm going to run this up here, and we're going to run it right into this zone. So that doesn't look bad. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work on that. I like to clean those up, but we've got a nice little area here. We've got everything kind of segmented out. I'm thinking, I don't think I have any, I don't have any of the parks or anything open yet. Uh, we should start to get some of that fairly soon as soon as we have more residents start to move in and actually this is a nice little neighborhood here uh, let's see anything special i've downloaded quite a few buildings so you're going to see a lot of like real businesses pop up except for pancakes international okay we got an ihop uh there's a down and out it's a totally not an in and out burger what else do we have here uh sally's uh we've got a shell station we've got one of those it looks pretty awesome 
And it looks like we've got maybe a little mini mart open over here, so businesses are coming in. It seems like there's still a demand for commercial now. They have plenty more to, or at least plenty more areas to build. I really could probably run, say, streets down the middle, but I think I'm going to keep it open because, I don't know, there's something about having these almost like avenues, I don't want to call them avenues, but these streets and having the businesses along them and not being like really busy. I like that look. It's going to probably make everything look clean in the long run. But let's see. Hmm. Do we have these lit up over here? Yes, we do. Now, I have areas here. I don't know if I'm going to extend this residential area out this way, or if I want to extend it out maybe out here to, say, the right, and just keep it running along the boundary here. Because this commercial area, this could wind up being maybe the city center, the big city. So I'm going to keep everything based off of this big street here. And actually, I kind of made a mistake. Uh, eventually, we're probably going to have to bulldoze some of these buildings along it. I normally want to keep some of this unzoned because this street, I believe, is going to get bigger uh, the bigger the city gets. So we'll have to go to like wider streets. So, hmm, some people are going to be very angry. And oh, look, an auto zone. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I just now realized we have four in and out burgers here. That is really strange. I've, I've downloaded a lot of buildings, too, so it's kind of strange seeing all of those appear. Huh. We'll just have to ignore those. But yeah, it looks like the there's still a little bit of residential demand, but they do have lots to build in over here, so I'm not really concerned with them right now. Uh, the things that are going to be probably unlocked next, I believe, are garbage and maybe education. So education is going to be a big thing that we're going to want to get in next. I'm actually going to build like an education center. I'm thinking probably near the neighborhood. I thought about commercial, but I'm thinking probably over here we'll have like a a place for maybe a park once we unlock like the uh, elementary school, high school. I'm not sure about a college. I'd like to have like a big college campus eventually somewhere, but I don't know. That's I'm thinking really far into the future and I should probably think about the now and how to make this as efficient as possible and make as much money as possible. So let's go ahead and add another little section here for residential. Uh, water's good. We've got it all the way across, so I'm free to build in all of these areas. Alright, I'm monitoring traffic patterns here, and I'm noticing that this roundabout's actually probably going to work. I'm seeing these, like, industry or industrial vehicles, they pull in here, and they come around, and they go right to their place. Now, to exit, they do not interfere with any other section, so that's good. Because you don't want, you know, big vehicles leaking off into neighborhoods or your commercial area. You want them basically going straight to where they need to go. So, you can see a couple leaving there. It's actually a couple tractors. I don't think we have any of that going on. And apparently, we might be a little short of workers. We've got plenty of jobs right now. And the neighborhood's growing. Apparently, we need to go ahead and add some more. I think we're going to go out one more right here. So, something like that. Now, I do have area to build more houses along this road. And I'm debating on what I want to do with it. Like... I can make it really busy and just extend this neighborhood, but I'm liking the uh, direction we're going in, so I don't think I'm going to change that, and this is going to need to be extended slightly. There we go. Cash flow, we've got cash coming in, so that was priority number one, but the worker situation, that's a, a little strange right now. I figured that this neighborhood would have enough people, but still looks like we're filling up. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward just a little bit and see what happens here. Yeah, those jobs are starting to fill out nicely now, so that's good. Alright, we've reached a population of 500. We now have taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, and education. So that's good. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, we're having some blackouts over here, so we're gonna, we're gonna slow... Actually, let's just stop this time. Uh, let's see, this little turbine is not getting it done, so we're going to do a little bit of polluting here, and we're going to go ahead and go with the big coal power plant. Uh, reason being, I just, I don't need to worry about the turbines right now. They're going to, they're good to start with, but they're going to cost me in the long run right now, because these things are expensive, and there's a lot of factors. Now, this is a nice area for them, so eventually, say we do go over to green energy, this would be a nice area because it's catching a lot of wind. So let's go ahead. We can get rid of that. 
Now we're gonna read it. Need to reconnect the uh, poo plant or the little poo pumper. So I've got that. There we go. All right, so we are hooked back in. Let's go and resume time here. And the blackout should stop here, so we're good to go. Actually, they're still. Either that or they just close. Maybe those are gonna pop back on. There they go. Okay. That's good. Now, education. This is something that I want to really emphasize here. So, I'd like to make a nice area for them. And I don't want to use the traditional, say, the grid pattern that I've been doing. I'd like to do kind of like a nice, almost like a, hmm, I'd like to see like a curved road. So something, let's go like that. I'm trying to think of a way to make this look right. Uh, we could do something say we would go out to this point here and curve it back in does that actually fit say that goes to the street I'm trying to find a way that fits I actually think that fits right there something like that I picture there being like a nice high school there but right now all we have is the elementary school so let's say hmm maybe I should have made that a one-way the more I look at it a lot of times schools you don't have Two lanes of traffic going back and forth like that. Uh, we might change that. I don't know. We'll see how it starts to flow through. Let's go ahead and put a school down. And let's see. Space already occupied. Doesn't like putting it. I guess I'm going to put it right here. I'd like to have like a high school or something right in the middle. So we're going to go right there with the school. And that costs us a pretty penny, but it's going to be good in the long run. Now let's see. Are we getting electricity? And we are getting water, of course. Okay. So that's nice. You've got an elementary school now, so we'll start to make everybody smart, at least in theory. Now, as soon as I get the uh, landscaping or where I can start placing down little objects, I'm going to make this look really nice. Like, I want trees up and down this road. I'd like some parks, some fenced off areas, maybe a, like a baseball field or something would look nice over here. But that's the start of our city center. That's why I wasn't, like, expanding this residential area out to the right. I'm actually probably going to make it do like an L because eventually if that city center builds, you don't want them that close. I want to try to keep this like a small residential area. Now, if we eventually go into dense residential, we could do that probably over here or on the outskirts of the main city. But uh, yeah, there's also a really big demand still. We need to go ahead and we're going to do this again. I know some people don't like to see this and... I'm not particularly that big on it either. I'm gonna need a straight road here. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna do probably like this. I like to keep everything at least even. I uh, could have done maybe a street down the middle, but I think that's breaking it up too much. So let's give them another section here. Uh, water, are we clear? No, we're not quite clear yet. So let's do that there and that there. Now, I think it we're pretty safe if we wanted to stick houses on this side now, since we've got our little, say, school center over here. So, we just might do that. We can always change that up. Uh, let's go ahead and just use the space that's given to us. I'm not going to do it at the ends of the street here, though. So, I'm not going to open those up. Just in case we expand, we don't have to go and delete a bunch of houses. And Are those even? Yes, they are. So we're going to do probably like that. So we've got quite a bit open here. They should fill these up. Actually, they're filling these up like crazy. So they're liking what they're seeing. I'm uh, still checking this traffic here. We still look to be in pretty decent shape. Now, this will be interesting once we get a huge, which I don't want a huge industrial center, but I'm probably going to at least extend it out somewhat out here. Uh, normally, you have like a harbor. Actually, I don't know if this is harbor worthy. That's a kind of an odd bridge setup. I believe there's a shoreline somewhere on this map. I can't really see it from here. Uh, we'll see when we start buying tiles, but we're still quite a ways away from that. And oh, yes, it's rearing its ugly head. It's our next objective, and I don't think we can actually afford it, can we? Actually, yeah, we can. But we're going to need to take care of our garbage, and garbage in this game can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So, hmm, how do I want to do this? I don't want it... I'd like to actually move it a little off-site. Can I build along this? Yes, I can. We're going to place it... Let's go about right out here. So we're going to have a little landfill. Uh, eventually, once we can get a recycling center, which I believe these are mods, you have like a recycling center and a large one, I would really love to have that. But for the time being, 
Uh, we are going to have to put a landfill down, and I need a little bit more money. Do we want to take out a loan real quick? You know, let's go ahead and take one out, and while we're in this screen, you know, we probably need to worry about taxes. So we're going to take a $20,000 loan. Uh, let's get this out here real quick. That way they can start working, so that should be good. Electricity, getting it. Uh, you're going to see the trucks pull out, and they're going to go over to the neighborhood, which is good about that roundabout. They can come out, they'll circle around, and they'll have direct access to that neighborhood, and there's already they're piling up out there. But yeah, what we're going to do here, we need to go ahead and we're going to make a little bit more money. Taxes. I think we're going to be safe at setting this at like 10% for everything. I like to charge a little extra to industrial zones because they are polluting the air, so... Seems like they would need to pay a little bit more, so we're going to make them do that. Now, we still have a residential demand and a industrial demand, so we're going to add one more, say, segment here. And we're going to open up another zone for them. So let's go ahead and we're going to open this about right there. There we go. And what are we going to do out here? You know, I almost want to break this neighborhood up now because it's a nice size neighborhood, but it's all looking kind of the same. I would say that we could, hmm, I don't really have anything I can do. Like, it'd be nice to have neighborhoods on this side, but I wanted to keep the industrial area to the side, too. Like, it'd be nice to have, like, a winding road and maybe some houses up it. Maybe we can do that later on. I think our best bet is going to be to continue this. So, let's do about like that again. And then we're going to add another little section because there's such demand for it right now. So, we're going to do that. And I can also open up, let's see, starting, I think, here to about here should be okay to build in. Uh, getting water. You know, we're just barely missing it on the water each time. There we go. So that should bring in quite a bit. I don't know if that's going to completely make that demand go away. Uh, I guess I have a little bit of area right here, so let's do it right, right about there. Okay. So they're gonna get to building. This is actually a really nice neighborhood. It looks, looks like so. It looks really homey. It looks like this would be somewhere where, somewhere's where I wouldn't mind actually living. Now the good thing about this little city center here, you see some of these box trucks coming in. They're delivering goods to. Oh look a dog. That's a, it's a dog. I have to point the dog out. But yeah, they're able to come down here, deliver now. I kind of want to make them flow out as easy as possible, so I'm trying to think of like different pattern design or like patterns for the traffic that would make it easier for them to come in and out. Because I picture this, especially this intersection right here, is probably going to get stopped up fairly soon. Uh, the more traffic we get flowing in now, I would say maybe we could basically hook up a couple more, but I don't want to. I don't want to spill traffic into this area and the industrial area. It's kind of a, almost like a catch-22 with having everything centralized like this, so I'll have to check and see exactly how I want to approach that. And we're still, we still have demand here. Can we go one more section before we reach the end? Yeah, we're going to have to do that because that's just, it's not working. And, oh, is it raining? I believe it is raining here. Let's see. Yes, it is. You know... It's been that long since I've even played this game. I don't remember rain at all. I'm assuming this was added at some point. No, it actually affects the streets. It's all shiny now. That is really awesome. Wow. But anyways, let's go ahead and cruise over here. Uh, what we're going to think about next. Uh, we're making money. I'm pretty sure we're going to hit another milestone here fairly quick. So we're probably going to have to create... Hmm, what do we have here? We've got a couple medical... Or at least one medical thing. I think I'm about to unlock the police department and the fire department, which we're going to need those immediately. That's kind of cool. I have a, a, a medical clinic, and I also have a, this is a mod, a Vision Works Eye Care Center, which I want to add that, but it really, it doesn't make sense. Like, okay, what happens when somebody actually gets sick? Uh, well, I guess you can go to the Vision Care Center, and hopefully they can, hopefully it's something eye-related. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to place that yet. We don't have any sick citizens. I'm actually going to speed up time here and see if we can reach that next milestone. All right, we've reached a worthy village. We have districts, policies, second loans, fire departments, police stations, just a whole bunch of neat stuff here. So this is the point in time where, hmm, let's see. What are we going to look at adding? Ooh, I can add a statue of, that's of industry. I don't think I want that. Hmm. 
I think what we're going to need to do now, we don't have any sick citizens. We do have a bit of a fire risk with the industrial area. I want them to be fairly close to this roundabout. So I think on the corner here is where the fire department's going to go because they need to be able to respond quickly to all districts here. So speaking of districts, we're going to go ahead and make this neighborhood one over here. I'll show you guys how this works. So we're going to highlight... Highlight this whole area, and this might not be perfect as far as the highlight. And this will be something that's going to come up with a name, and what is the name? Cozy District. Okay. Well, we can always rename that if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. But I want to see the policies that we have here. Policies, uh, power usage, water usage. We're not really worried about that. I want to raise the land values and also help, hopefully, protect against fire. So we're going to distribute smoke detectors. All right, it's absolutely pouring down. I think we're going to add, hmm, I think we're going to do that L shape like I was talking about. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go about like this, so that should be even on each side. I'm not going to do it all the way back to the city center. I might do it for, let's say, two sections, like that and that. And that should be okay. We need to go ahead and run this water out. Let's go ahead and try to keep that. It needs to go over a little bit. It's probably not going to be even now, which is going to bug me. But we're going to go ahead and open up these zones. Now, I need to pay attention to the elementary school. And how full are we there now? Uh, we're at 268 out of 300. That's eventually going to be an issue. So, yeah, we're going to have to worry about that. And I'm also going to have to worry about traffic now because this is a fairly big neighborhood. And I think that this one street is basically a one way in and out. We will have to change that. I kind of want to unlock more land because I can try to find alternate paths because I, I like the way this looks right now. So I'm going to have to be fairly picky about that. Now, we're going to go ahead and add one more section to over here. And is that... Uh, don't tell me. Is it the dumps in the way? So, hmm. Let's get rid of that road there. Let's go ahead and add it along. I guess we can, it's safe to do it probably right here. So let's go about here, here, and here. It works. All right, we've got a nice little starter city. Now, I don't think... Is anybody sick? Nobody's sick yet. We're going to add this soon. And police, uh, don't, we have a little bit of crime in the city, so we're gonna go ahead, can we go ahead and place this? Yeah, we're gonna place this right across from the, uh, fire station, it just only makes sense, so I'll keep this little commercial area nice and safe, so we've got that, but yeah, I think this is gonna work for our little starter city, we are losing just a little bit of money, but we've got such demand that I'll be able to add some more neighborhoods. Now, I think I'm going to break this neighborhood off. I don't... Like, this is already fairly big. I would like to maybe start another one somewhere else. I mean, realistically, it's probably going to be over here to the right, but I need something in between. So, if any of you guys have any suggestions for anything uh, with this series, anything you want to see built, even mods, I've... Oh, what do we have going on here? Do we have a car chase? Uh, maybe? I don't know. They're going after somebody. Okay, maybe it's good that we place those. But yeah, guys, comment below with any suggestions. I think we've started off on the right foot here. But yeah, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. We'll be returning with more of this, more Scrap Mechanic, and a couple other games that I'm looking at playing very soon. So, hope you join us for that. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.